Tuesday the 9th of July and another day another Lego store today it's in the rain and we're here at Liverpool one so this is a new store for me and today I know they've had a refit so it should all look nice and sparkly new I've also got my new passport that I got in Brussels so let's go and get it stamped so the first thing that greets you as you come into the store is this giant chewy brick belt of course and there's all the uh, pieces it took and the weight etc but I feel I've seen him before in Sainsbury's maybe anyway on to looking around speed champions uh, looking at some of the various sets I don't take too much interest in as you possibly know that I'm more Star Wars orientated but yes lots of uh, Technic and Speed Champions so for anyone that's interested in these then we get into one of my bits the TIE Interceptor UCS uh, the Ahsoka's clones uh, the speeder chase for Grogu and I like this little display here with the Atat and the um, R2-D2 with the anniversary figures and the snowtroopers around the base there that's quite a nice display. The lovely mechs and Darth Malak there, of course, and Moff Gideon's battle with Paz Vizsla. You've got the ghost there, which has just been on offer. I've seen, because I'm recording this a bit late. Uh, Soka's shuttle, all the usual Star Wars sets you would expect to see in a Lego store. Um, I was quite impressed with botanicals. I always am actually when I go into Lego stores. The amount they have when they're bundled all together, they look really good. The wild flowers there, brick heads down the bottom. Again, all the usuals you expect to see. I'm more looking at these little displays, see if they have anything unusual. Um, it's just what they display with what makes it different from store to store. Here we've got some helmets. We've got the spider tank, which is a cool Bo-Katan figure, of course. Uh, and the gunship up there. Uh, Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. Natural History Museum was on display there. More Jurassic World sets, Jurassic Park sets. I think the Jurassic Park sets are all going to be discontinued at the end of this year so I am picking up a few of each as I really like them. And yeah, just a little look around the, the ceiling of the store. See, I, I don't know whether this was here before, but it's really funky and it looks really cool. So I wonder whether this is part of the refit. The pick a brick wall, or pick a build wall. There, we're going through the parts just to show you briefly some of them. They do seem to be a bit different to some of the ones I saw last month. So uh, yeah, those rock pieces there. And, you know, random pieces, as you all know, just having a quick flick through them. Oh, I'd like these. Uh, I've seen Bricks are using lots of these for waves, so I pointed them out. I like them. Some tiles, some red, dark red tiles. Look like sweets in these bins, I must say, with the colours. Back in my day when you could buy them. Penny sweets, as we called them. Yeah, some plates. I mean, overall, I wasn't keen to get a box because there was nothing amazingly good they are good there's some good pieces but all pieces I've mostly seen before or got plenty of so nothing that really grabbed my attention to go and get a box yeah just going through them showing you bits What do we come to next? So place the box. In the middle, yeah. Yeah. So there should be a little chip in it. Yeah, there we go. And then you want to press that little blue button in the corner. So the name you put it in here, it'll be going on the little name grip with the minifigure stamp on. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. And then I'll just give you a quick rundown of what each tab does. Yep. So at the minute we've got some licensed Lord of the Rings ones. Yeah. Uh, there's some limited edition ones for you. 
keep on scrolling, there's loads and loads to choose from. You don't have to choose one of these, it's only if you want to. Sure. Um, this next one is good at where you're doing most of the designs. So you've got your uh, paint brush tool there, yeah. uh, line tool and different shapes there. You've got your different um, thicknesses and then different colours. If you make any mistakes, you've got the little rubber in the, the corner eraser, yeah. or a little um, undo button there. Yep. You're going to get rid of everything, there's the delete, little, uh, delete one. This next tab, she's got loads of stickers to choose from. You can put as many on there as you want. You can uh, resize them. There's loads of keep on scroller. Yeah. And then this last one here is just the text tool. So you've got your different colors there and then fonts for you as well. And then to do the back, it's just this button, this button there, flips it Flip over, over does the and then it does the same tabs again. And then if you want to see how it'll look once it's uh, printed, it's just that one there and it does it to scale for you. Yeah, okay. Uh, if you have any more questions and stuff, I'll just be uh, floating about. Okay, brilliant. Okay, right, it's just trying to decide what to put on there, isn't it, really? Uh, paint, decorations, typo, what do you think? Uh, put the logo on. Yeah, but I have to get the logo onto there, don't I? Yeah, but you can still do a logo roughly as you think it could be. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Stop it, we'll get we'll get back. We'll come back to it when we work out what we wanna do. Mix uh, breaks. Uh, we so it seems that we can't do the logo unless we draw it on and I'm not very good at drawing and we could be here for hours. So we're just going to get a mix of Rick's mic. Shall we stick that on the back? Or yeah. Front? No, oh, no, 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 then on the back we'll go for the mic. Uh, we want, mm, what colour? Black. In black, I think. Uh, there's black. Uh, different fonts, what font should we go? Yeah. How are you finding the interface? Quite easy to use? <laughs> yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? That's the one we used, I think, for the front. Well, there isn't too many fonts, to be honest. weird. It does look a bit weird. Okay, so we'll uh, change that one. Uh, meaning... No, I'll delete the whole lot. No. <laughs> Let's go for this. Where are we going? Put all the mics on there. Put all the mics, yeah. Let's get some more then. No, because it'll start to block with each other out. I don't care, it doesn't matter, it's a mega. Let's try again. A mashup. A mashup. Montage. Wow. Do that one That's in a big one. Do that one in different colour, red or something. Green. Not dark. Yeah, that's well, that. Yeah, well, Okay. So, where would you put it? Oh, no, that's all right. Sure. 
Is that enough fonts? Just like a brick or something. Yeah, so maybe. Um, uh. <laughs> He's a dance. Ah, no, I did see. It's quite good. Yes. That's. Uh, how do we go back again? So back was... Yeah. But I saw a nice... Uh, <laughs> no, that'll delete everything. Yeah, delete everything. Um, there you yes. go. There you go, so you can delete that. Yeah, there you go. So, so where was the things yeah. again? Oh, yeah. Really, I like the dinosaur, I like the skull. I kind of liked what we had there. This is just a, a test of this machine, really. I still like that. And I still like that skull, to be honest. I like the dinosaur. I just like that. Yeah, it's funky. Okay. You can't have Star Wars because it's a licensed IP, so unless you're going to draw it, it's not going to be an easy thing. So we have to go Which with the. Which will be the challenge in itself, it? Yeah. Although, if you look at some of these amazing little things people have drawn, they've sat here for hours, like Sergeant Pepper's, the Beatles. I mean, somebody's drawn that. Should we do it in red and black? Should we change them? Or? We've got the green. Should we change the colours? You could always put something behind it as well. You could put the skull behind it. Kind of, maybe I was going to lose the blue. No, no you like that. Yeah. Okay. So, and then, yes, you could put the decoration. Where's the skull? There. Oh no, I like that. So you can basically put these anywhere you want. Could you put, I wonder if you could put them like, like a whole skull pattern. Yeah, you could. It's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite cool. <laughs> Put another one at the front. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a place for kids, this. Shut up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, okay. Uh, let's go. Yeah. How do we do it? <laughs> Figure, one of one. <laughs> right, we've got to choose uh, different parts, heads. Uh, uh, what do you call it? We've got to choose uh, legs, hair pieces. I think we're good to go, actually. Okay. So you sure? Yeah. Okay, so then we'll just send it over. Yeah. And then you'll print out And now you can choose your Right, okay. Let's do that. Yeah. 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 But let's just see if there's any other cool ones. 
Right. Draw and then we're going to go to the... I've got to have a guitar. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. 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 Amazing. Black guitar yeah. would have been better. Well, you have been so helpful. Oh, that's nice. I appreciate it. No worries. Oh, I'm red guitar. Strass got no printing on that one. No, I know. No. Alright, we go for the blue. Um, don't really want that though. Get some glasses on, sunglasses. Uh, just about to start now. Just about to start. Yeah. Right. Mm. Oh, it's got a top knot. Hang on, top knot. Uh. That brings that kid to us. I haven't got that much hair. <laughs> one piece, you only know one piece. Yeah, you can show them. I've got the guitar, haven't I? Or should I have a ghetto blaster? I kind of like the ghetto blaster more. I like the dogs. Sorry? I like the dogs. Yeah, but I don't have dogs. Yeah, I know, but... I'm thinking... I want a better hairpiece, that's what I need to find. Ooh, a bit of a bouffant. I might give myself a bouffant. Undecided. Yeah, look, I've got shades one side. And then if we look the other side. I've got just a happy little face. Hang on, and then shades the other. I think that might work. Which ones? Mm. Hey. That's awesome. Thanks for having right. There's the box as well. Looking good okay to you. That's it, yeah, yeah. fantastic. Amazing. So I'll give you the little figure to fill, and then do you have your box as well? Is it that one? It's up there, yep. Yep, I'll pop this in the box for you. Maybe it's my earlier days. Just to carry around a yeah. little ghetto blaster. So can you only put? Yeah, can you only put one accessory. Only one accessory. Yeah, one piece. But one hair piece. One. One head, head one thing, uh, one, one all, one all. Yeah, okay. There we go. I'm in there, look. Brilliant.
successful build. Okay. Nice little memento of a, of a store actually, a Lego store. Hi mate, got, got my passport, if I can get it stamped please. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, all oh, right, okay. What was the old for? Uh, so I thought that was one of ours. No, 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 no. Is that okay on the yeah, same page? Yeah, of course. Page? Yeah. Then I saw where you've been as well. Yeah. So I've got an overseas store already. No, it's brand new. So I only got it the other day in Brussels. So yeah. I've got Liverpool now. So it'll be full up in about, I don't know, a month. <laughs> so still in Liverpool. And there's a big John Lewis here. So we will go check that out. I mean, they have plenty of deals online. So you would think they might have some in store as well. It's somewhere that I've not really been looking for Lego at all in the physical store, but no time like the present as I'm here. Let's go in, have a little look. Right. Escalators. Okay, so the ah, toys. Through the kiddie arch. And then we get into the Lego. Lego, Lego, Lego. Here we go. Start off with the uh, non-interesting sets for me. Gabby's Dollhouse. Friends. Minecraft. Some Disney. Ooh. New arrivals. Mm, not sure about that. Uh, 20 dollars that's about right. These look all look like retail prices to me. No price on the mixer brick skull. Let's have a look at the city. Yeah, just normal, normal prices. Friends, lots of city. I mean, they got all the big sets, so uh, that's quite good. Put stuff for kids to do. Kids appreciate that. Real Lego bricks. Yep, they are. Plenty of dreams, more friends. Harry Potter. And our good old friend, the Moss Eisley Cantina. Oh, Viking Village. I wonder whether it's on offer. It's beaten up somewhat. One to get. Yep, there it is. King, June, Walt Disney, <sighs> full, full retail price of course, and there are a few deals, 55 for the Polaroid, 55 for the Ayrton Senna, helmets, yep they're all on offer, 
they're good, but not amazing prices. What's that? 120. Yeah, that's way over the top. You can get that cheaper a lot of places. Marvel. Sancto Sanctorum. It's quite hard to see some of the prices on this. This box is battered. Look at that. I'd be wanting some serious money off if I was buying that. Uh, more Star Wars over here. 71, that's good. Same as Amazon has had it recently. That's too expensive because that's 51 in most places. Uh, 18. 18.99, not bad. Yeah. Okay, Indiana Jones, 97. I mean, it's okay, not the best, but it's not bad. Money off. These are all the correct price. That's retiring because we're getting a new one, but it's been out forever. That's way too expensive. Let's be friends. Giant magnifying glass, okay. I don't know what you meant to do with that, but anyway. Amusement park and something else. I don't know, friends, to be honest. Oh, more pity stuff to do. More friends, more friends. Another giant magnifying glass with a road accident. Speed champions and Technic sets. Yeah, quite a good range, really, overall. But then you would expect that from the size of this store. Offer. Mm, everything else. Kind of full priced, yeah, full priced, full price. Harry Potter, Technic, Space, Sonic. Customers are advised that the shop will be closing in 15 minutes and are advised to pick up any items they may have at customer collections. Oh. Are you okay? Insects, oh, that's on offer. 55 and Tranquil Gardens on offer. Yeah. Yeah. Botanical, swamp flower, orchids, and the architectural bits. Oh, still more. Mix, Marvel Mix, Despicable Me. More kids, stuff. Wow, they're really letting the kids go wild in John Lewis. Look at this. This must be glued. <laughs> Even a little table and seats for the kids. It's pretty good, really. Pretty impressed with that. Some more speed champions. That one will be uh, coming home with me at some point. Yeah, we've seen these. Oh, we've got a Ninjago section with the Ecto-1 on display. It's a very good looking detailed car. Dragon one. Yep, I have this little one. I like the Ninjago sets. I know I'm swearing <laughs> to a few people, but some of them are great. For a theme that isn't an IP, for a Lego own theme, I think it's uh, stood the test of time. Didn't look round these for offers. Let's have a little look for offers. 
No, no waffles. No. No more offers. Okay, so no Ninjago is on offer. Bit surprised about that. There we go. Oh, and I missed these. We have a display cabinet with the botanicals. It's pretty impressive. Sale. And the Vespa, I'll show. And a giant Lego brick. Overall, I would say Lego has got a big old section in John Lewis. So and so it should. It is the number one toy. Even a bit of rain cannot dampen the Liverpool spirit. So up here we have an upside down house. another view. Here we are at the pump house. I've got it, I've got it. A chimney right at the top. Could do. Or we could have a seat up here. Such a cool building, this place. And even better, it's you cool can get, a, um, you know, even better, you can get a beer here and food, of course. Did you have an Estrella? No, but Peroni. Peroni and Estrella. Very nice. No. It's a very nice point. A little bit of food in the pump house. Oh, there's the uh, the eye through the through the buildings there, and just walking down to the Mersey. Lots of school kids about today on trips. Ice creams, donuts, you know the usual seagull. And that's not an inflatable thing at the end there, and bright colours, they are rocks stacked on each other. Afternoon tea, anyone? And a litter bin, apparently, in one of our old red phone boxes, I remember very well. These are all shops over in, along under these pillars. It's usually a nice lot of jellyfish down here. Live birds again. Ah, here we go. The rocks, the multicolored rocks. Tate Modern. Billy Fury, if anyone's a fan. He's not all shook up. Right, I wanted to show you these. I mean, some people will know exactly what these are, but on these railings here, next to the Mersey, are padlocks. Oh, 
Oh. Can you imagine how many people have put padlocks there? Wow. They just keep going. I've got a cruise ship over there. And here we go. Finally found some lamb bananas for everyone to have a good look at. <laughs> These have got, look, the, uh, yeah, painted up with some 80s groups on there. Look at Seagull. All these uh, lamb bananas are done very differently. Let's go down to the next one. This one is painted in the fish and birds from river and sea. That's pretty cool. And this one is done in a different style altogether. So lamb bananas were originally put here from the City of Culture time. Which, which year was that? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure of the year. 2000? My brother says 2007. That's a complete guess though, I think. But yeah, that's the uh, museum. Is it museum? Yeah. Museum of Liverpool. It's very cool. We actually saw a John Lennon and Yoko Ono um, exhibition twice here. It was here for a couple of years during COVID times, just after COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's moving, she, she takes it around the world. It's been at um, New York for quite a while, I believe. And then obviously goes off to other cities, but it stayed here being Liverpool's spiritual home for a long time. Uh, walking past the liver building again and there you can see those liver birds apparently if the liver birds fall down the city falls into the sea so that's quite an interesting concept mersey ferries so you can take a trip on the mersey out there i'm not sure how it comes out on camera but it is a very cool place to be here. Even when the weather isn't the best, it's, it's fantastic walking around and soaking up the atmosphere. And of course, for myself and brother, who are both huge Beatles fans, it's, yeah, it's home. We have the Beatles there on the side, and there is a very cool statue here that Paul McCartney himself had a, uh, quick quick photo with quote uh, quick photo opportunity with James Corden when they did the uh, karaoke series as you can see people just queue up all the time you get buskers singing Beatles you get so many people queuing up for photo ops with this statue as you can see Is that the Duke of Wellington up there? Or Duke of something else? I'm not sure. No, Edward the Seventh. Edward, who, sorry, who is it? Oh, it says Edward the Seventh. Right underneath the Liver building, which obviously is so well known for Liverpool. Cruise ship dock there. So, more lamb bananas for you. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, there's going to be a lot of <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> pretty random, but pretty cool.